Salutations, adventurers. I am the Adventuring Bear, and I want to thank you for joining me on my quest within the world of Wayfinder. It is so good to see you back. Welcome. We find ourselves back at Spawn Base. The next steps are beneath us. That's right. We are going to the, oh, I, uh, uh, why, why do I do this? I'm too close to the wall. I should know better. There we go. Put the map, oh, okay. Yeah, much, much better. As I was saying, we are going, oh, hold on. Maybe it would be wiser if I spoke to you from this direction. This way there won't be any more map related incidences. We are going to go to the nether. And while we have already set up some things there, there is so much more left to do. There is a nether fortress that Nerdykin has discovered, and we are going on an adventure to check it out. We are putting together a dungeon party. Bum, 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 bum. Before we get together on the dungeon party, let me show you around the nether as far as the little bit that we have done thus far. Nerdykin has built us a very beautiful, picturesque nether portal. I really enjoy it with the hanging vines and the framework, the lighting. She also added some signs, so I... I guess we must recite it. Before entering, please recite the Nether Pledge. Oh boy. I will not get mad if I die. No promises. I will not get mad if I lose everything. I definitely can't promise it. But I did pledge it. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one just a little bit. Oh well, let's go. Welcome to our base of operations within the nether. It really isn't much. We do have a respawn anchor, again thanks to Nerdykin. We do have different chests here so that those of us that have come to the nether can kind of share them, space them out amongst one another. Now, this is a chest that I put here when we first built this little outpost. It has some of the bare essentials of things that I need, like a piece of golden armor and a backup piece of golden armor. As well, some gold to trade with the piglins, thanks to the golden armor, which I'll put on right now. And that's pretty much it. We threw up windows so it would be easier to see in and out, especially since none of the ghasts and skelly boys can see through this window. It makes things all nice and good. Now, the nether fortress that Nerdykin scoped out is in that direction. However, that will be in just a little bit. I'm going to show you some of the things we've done over on this side of the nether. Nerdykin really wanted to harvest the wood, vines, mushrooms, and other things from the Crimson Forest. I really like what she did with the glass up here. As you see, there's chests over here that people can use. Go harvest, come back here. Drop off some stuff, and you don't have to go all the way back to the overworld. And while we come back to the main body, you will see the other excellent thing we have spawned next to, which is the Bastion. Now, if you're very familiar with the Bastion, you will see that this is very picked over. Everyone on the server loves Blackstone, and so we have used this opportunity to harvest as much of it as possible, exploring to see what coffers the Bastion offers, defending it from the Skelly Boys. Yeah, I yeah, see you, Skelly Boy. Move away. The Bastion was uh, very tricky, especially since we are new to the new nether, even more new than those that are new. One of the harsh lessons we learned from this Bastion is, is that gold does not protect you from the brute version of piglins. They hurt a lot. 
I mean, at the time we only had iron armor. We've kind of upgraded since then, so it's not so bad at this point. As you can see, it is not incredibly safe to go back and forth if you're not being vigilant, even though we are this close. <laughs> Ghasts, skelly boys, not so much endermen, but they do show up every so often. From here, you can see how we have really picked over this bastion. There's still plenty of blackstone left to get, basalt, and other materials, but we have really, really done a number on this area. And over here, you can see that we were very fortunate to be able to trap this piglin pretty easily in the corner. We can do our nice trades here. There you go, big boy. Oh, isn't he cute looking at that gold? What did I get? Uh, fire charge, not the greatest. Here, take another one. To another brick. Hmm. This might take a little bit. I think I'm going to have to speed this portion up. Thank you very much, Mr. Piglin. Uh, now let's see if that was worth all of that gold. Now some of you may wonder why I walked away before I looked at everything. That is because they do not like it if you open up chests near them, whether they're your chest or not. I had made the mistake of putting down my under chest, opening it up, the piglin started attacking me with his crossbow. He was very, very angry with me. And I had to pick up my ender chest and run away. Mainly because I didn't want to kill the piglin. We do use him for trading and bartering after all. I wanted to come over where it was safe and sound so I could look at my inventory and manage it. With that being said, let's see what I got. We got some fire charges, nether bricks, soul sand. Ooh, 13 ender pearls. I'm very happy about that. Obsidian, ooh, 11 crying obsidian. Ooh, I am, I love crying obsidian. It is very hard to get it, and trading with the piglins is one of the rare ways to get it. Potion of fire resistance, I'm starting to get a handy collection of that. Uh, soul speed boots, one, bleh. Gravel, spectral arrows, soul speed boots, two, better. Six leather, oh, I do like that. Another quartz, well, okay, not too bad. And some black stone string and useless water. Some of you may wonder why I said that to Soul Speed 1. After all, Soul Speed 1 is better than no Soul Speed at all. And the reason being is, well, I have Soul Speed 3. As a matter of fact, I have Soul Speed 2 and Soul Speed 3 backed up already. I simply just don't need Soul Speed 1. But I guess we might be able to use those for mending the other boots. And with that done, our trade and barter has been completed. Thank you very much, dear Piglin. So while we're here, let me show you a little bit more of the Bastion, just to show you how dismantled this thing really is. We have brought a lot of cobblestone so we can mend the broken pathways. As you know, there's a lot of dangerous stepping that you need to do <laughs> before, so I had to make sure there was no hole behind me, before you can really safely navigate the Bastion. Ooh, how did I get up? That's, oh yeah, see? 
One wrong, oop, <laughs> one wrong step, and it, it can be fatal. Let's see, Went this way. Oh, getting a little, getting a little lost in here. It's been a while since I've been in the bastion here. Remember what I said about watching your step? Yeah, I really need to take that to heart. There, that's better. All right, here we go. Now we've made it to the top. It is so neat being able to see the nether. Ooh, glowstone. It looks like a basalt region. I'd have to check that out in the future. You can see all the soul sand, soul soil. You can see the lava. Oh, okay, okay. You 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 don't need to be on top of a bastion to see lava in the Nether. That's the Nether and lava just go right hand in hand with each other. And a beautiful view of the Crimson Forest and where we spawned with the Nether portal. Again, something very modest. Function and form over beauty. Kind of looks like a bone, doesn't it? I really didn't see that until we were up here. So you really do learn new things. The Nether is such an interesting place, even more so after the update. There's so many new things to discover and explore and ancient debris to find. But it does, it does do a very good job of making you feel all alone. And as the new day dawned, the dungeon party gathered. It was time to head to the Nether Fortress. All right, are we uh, all good to go? I'm ready. All right, let's hit this. You coming? Yep. <laughs> Just staring at him. All right, I don't know where the I don't know where the fortress is. So yeah, only I'm only following. nerdy does right no, now. Please, I brought no pickaxe. Hold on one second. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Watch my back. I'm gonna start making a bridge. Yep, I'm watching. Yeah, do you want me to do it? I can. No, no, I have to. I have to learn. I have to learn. Oh, okay, I here we go. On controller, there's ah! a shift Y. Ah! How did you do that? It was all gravel. Oh. All right. Oh, we didn't come up with a team name for this expedition. Oh no. The bear kitten cloud. The big cloud. The big cloud. The big cloud. How about how about Project Light Stick? I heard it. Where did it go? Oh, I see it. How can you shoot me from that far away? Are you okay, Kitten? I know you're on fire, but... Oh, I didn't bring a bow. I um... got a bow. Oh! Oh, no! No! Wait, what happened? Did you, like, did you were, were you low health and the fire, fire finished you off? No, it just... It was all the gas. I fell into the a pit of fire. Oh! I didn't escape. And fire in the nether generally... Is worse. Sorry, I wish there was something I could have done. I honestly didn't know you were dying. I was like, Kitten, are you okay? And she didn't respond. And then all of a sudden I saw a kitten died. I'm like, uh-oh. Okay, it is this way, this lava. <laughs> Ooh, noms. No, mine. <laughs> Potato, it's like the, the breadcrumb trail. Hansel and Gretel. Oldest trick in the book. Is it up? It might be easier to go up. It's like over there. Soul oh. sand is so annoying. I think it should be this way, right? Yeah. I wonder I if we we should go up and over still some more. Yeah, I think we can. I love the sound that makes. What? Bone. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh cool. Boom boom. It actually sound that sounds cool. Right? 
I have faith in team team light stick. Dude, I died before we got even to the like right on the <laughs> island. But here you are. Reborn. Where is this place? It's not safe. Well, I'm glad you're with us, Cloudy, because this is a, a lot of fun having our an adventuring party. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, where? It's right there. Yeah, that's definitely Ooh. it. You okay, Clouded? Where are you? No, I'm good. I just fell down the cliff right here. It didn't hurt that bad. It didn't hurt that bad. That bad. How much like easier and more difficult will this be with Elytra? Oh my gosh. If we had Elytra, you just go across the lava pool. Yeah, lava and then pool. hit a lava waterfall. Uh-oh. Yes. Wait, I'm... I won't my... Oh no. There's two. I don't Ooh. have an arrow. Oh, you just need one? I have one. Yeah. Yeah. I killed one. Good job. Good job. There's two though. Wait, that's crazy. What? So You're he right. shot his Hold ball on. and I shot my arrow and my arrow collided with his ball and then the ball hit him. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Gasty Poo. Blink. How do I get down? That's a problem. There we go. Oh, part of it's right here too, in this little cave. Oh, there's a weather skeleton. Be careful. Got him, got him. Wait, was that the skull? Nice, get the skull. Oh, we the got the skull first try. Nice. I thought you said scroll. I'm like, what? Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. wow. That almost was very bad. Do you guys know the chances of that? It's like one in 200. Oh, okay, hi. Go down right here. Oh. Nice. Nice. All right. I was going to go down like a stair and Bear just said, oh, I'm going to jump <laughs> There's a chest right here. I don't know how we want to split loot. You guys can just take it. I don't care. Well, let's see what there let, is let me... and go from there. Oh, oh, I want another ward. I need that for my potion. Oh. Oh, on me. Got him, got him, got him. There's another one to the right. I got it. To Where? the right over here. Come back, come oh. back. Run back, run back, run back, run back. Nice. Right. See, we're pros already. There's a blaze oh, up no. here. Be careful. Oh, and skeleton. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Come back, come back, come back. Why do they always come for me? There it is. Nice. Thank you. No blade rods. Chest over here, guys. Oh, watch out right here. Oh, he hit me. There's some nether wash down there, kitten. Got him. Got a, I got a blaze rod. Bear, do you want to hold him? Sure. Maybe we should put stuff in a chest. In case someone dies, we can just go back to that chest. I'm going to grab the chest. All right. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, grab it. All right. Yeah. These nether fortresses aren't as scary as I thought they were going to be. With the group that we got, you know, I was ex I was still expecting it to be a little more scary. I hear a wither skeleton. Wait, are you using Fulbright? You really accused me of using full dark. Full dark? Or full bright. <laughs> <laughs> I full like dark. dark. I see a wither skeleton right now. Oh, okay. It Oop. Messing with me. Wrong button. Oh, I wither guess. skeleton. We're, we're all in this together. 50, 50, 50, right? These nether fortresses are really cool. No, 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 no. It's just a cave. I have mined quartz before. Why is it telling me that it's a new recipe? Oh, no, because whole... you still touched it. Oh, yeah. okay. That explains so much of this journey. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. This looks like a good spot for place spawner. Uh. All right, well. Uh trying to bring it back over here so we can try to get blaze rod. I can do this. Ah. Oh, he came back as soon as Look I did. Look at him, he's fearless. Cloud is just fearless. Full sand. Did you shake over here? I got... I you. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I'm looking for it. Spawner, 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 guys. Torches or dirt or something. Something that's not always around here. Alright, put dirt down. It's I'm actually a really good blaze spawner because it's like captured, so they can't like get anywhere. Careful. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, Two. more. Yep. No. Oh, Come back here. Any blaze rods yet? Okay. How many? Do I, have? I have six. Wow. Bear, do you want to hold these or? Sure. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm not doing too hot. Actually, I'm very hot because I'm on fire. Hey, taking all the XP, I see. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. He has well, a chill. No, I know, I know. <laughs>
Hey, you yes. can use my skeleton farm, so it's okay. What? Oh! These guys are scary. Oh, get back, get back. Got it. Get it. Woo! What? Because what? I need potion. This fire protection is great. Do you have looting on your sword? I do. Oh, that's nice. I love looting. Oh. No. You're not blazing. Please, in my, she, in has, my she has chest, so you could just grab that stuff. Stupid blaze, kill kid. Yeah, what the heck? No, I'll, wait. Know. I'll wait. I'll wait. This is Sorry, a what? great spawner. We got really lucky. I know we actually did. Where are we going? We're gonna go get Ken. We're gonna grab whatever we want out of the chest. Oh, another one. You can do that one. I'll just kill this one. Oh, no head. Get one? Oh, we got one. That was another wither skull, yes. Let's go, we have two. Yes. We need one more. Woo! Guys, this is so lucky. We've had so overall such good luck on this seed. You really have. Yeah. Overall, it's stuff inside of it. Like, I've never seen that. Almost there. We got everything. Yeah, let's, let's head back. Let's go. This is awesome. Wait, no, I'll go up here. This is scary. Let's stuff. not test them out yet. I don't even want to look at exactly how many blaze rods I have on my person right now. <laughs> then it'll make you more nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh, watch out, that. Gap. I would have I to say know. that Team team Flash Stick did a great job. Could have done better. You have an arrow in, your, in the back of your knee. So I take arrows to the knee constantly, apparently. I didn't mean for all. I didn't mean for all that to rhyme. Arrow in my meat. Wait, you should be a rapper. Look at me. Oh, God, delicious Wait. XP. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at level one. I'm at level one. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we have to go down here. I'm already home. Not trying to say anything negative or yeah, rub anything in, but I haven't died yet, so I'm trying to remember the way home. But I'm doing a pretty good job. Up if you're interested, because I gotta get my blaze rods to do my stuff. Well, no, I'm already back in the overworld, dude. That was fun. That was so much fun. Yeah. I'm so glad that you you hung out. The end will be even more fun. Oh yeah, yeah. and we're and with these blaze rods, we're that much closer to it. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have Bye. a good night. These are the spoils of our our adventure, Team Sticklight. Well, adventurers, we did so well. I cannot believe it. A total of 92 blaze rods. 92. 92. I cannot believe that. What the heck? What fantastic work we did. Between Clouded's leadership, <laughs> the fire protection on the diamond armor that we had, it is fantastic. Fantastic. What I, I am so proud of us. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy There were a lot of deaths a lot of casualties None of them were me. I am not gonna be upset about that. So adventurers With that, I think that's a good place to end nerdy kin right now is very busy dividing the spoils of our war and our trials and we got so much more to do. What a good, good, good episode. So much done. So adventurers, as I always say, may the sun be on your face and the winds be at your back in all the quests that you do. Have a good one, adventurers. Bye-bye.